Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about uh, how to play a song called Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. And uh, we're going to start with the G major chord. Uh, we're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go on the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go on the skinny E, uh, or the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord, which sounds really happy. Um, and then from there, we're going to go to a, a D major chord. The way you play D major, we're going to take the first finger and put them on the G string on the second fret. The second finger is going to go on the high E or the skinny E on the, on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go on the B string on the third fret. And with the D chord, you want to play just the top four strings, so just the D, G, B, and E to get the clearest sound out of it. And that's called D major. And then from there, we're going to go to an E minor chord. So we're going to take the first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go on the D string on the second fret, and that makes a chord called E minor, which sounds really sad. And then from there, we're going to go to a C major chord. So we're going to leave the second finger where it is, actually. We're going to take the first finger and put them on the B string on the first fret. So second finger is going to be on the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go on the A string on the third fret. And so that's a C major chord. So that's basically our, our verse and our chorus for this song. It's G major, and then D major. E minor, and then C major. And what we're doing right now is something I call blocking, which is where you just do just a down on every, every chord. So down on G, down on D, down on E minor, down on C major. And this is a 4-4 song, which means there are four beats on it in every measure or every bar. And so what we're going to do is use one of my favorite strum patterns, which is down, down, up, up, down, up which is a pretty easy eighth note strum pattern. It's just interesting enough to, to not get boring. And so on the G, we're going to do down, down, up, up, down, up, and then D, down, down, up, up, down, and then E minor, down, down, up, up, down, then C, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. all the way through. But then what, one thing that I like to do is, is more of a 16th note feel strum pattern. And a 16th note is where you divide the foot tap or the beat or the quarter note into four parts. So we were counting that, it'd be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can even do it with down, up, down, up just to kind of get that feel. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Do is we're, we're, we're going to do a 16th note feel strum pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a down for four. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to do a down, down, oh. So then we got one, two, three, four. So all together we got down, 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 up, oh, down. that down 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 up on every chord and then we got G with the down 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 up D down 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 E minor down 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 C down 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 G down 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 up D down 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 E minor down 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 up C down 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 G down 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 C down 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 E minor down 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 up C down 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 G down 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 up D down instead of this actually being in the key of G major, which is what we're playing in, G, and D, and E minor, and C, um, we, it's actually in the key of B flat major. So what we would do is we'd take a capo, if you have a capo, um, and then we're going to put that on third fret, and now the, our capo, with our capo, our G major is now a B flat major, our D major is really an F major, our E minor is really a G minor, and our C major is really an E flat major. And so we could do the same thing there and actually play along with the recording. So with the G, we got the G down, 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 D down, 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 G minor.
interesting. You could actually do something called a bass down, down, up strum pattern. So on the G, instead of doing the whole down over the whole chord, we could play just the low E bass and then do the down, down. And then on the D, we could do the, the D string for the bass because that's the lowest note that has the name D on, on the guitar and we're really playing it. But on the D, you could be thinking D string and then down, down. On a D string, down, down, a D string. Oh, I missed that one. D string, down, down. So on the G, you got the low E bass. Down, down, down. On the D, you got the D bass. On the E minor, we're going to go low E bass. And then on the C chord, you'd be going A bass. So then you got bass, down, down. So we got G with the low E bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. Down, down, C with the A bass. Down, down, G with the low E bass. Down, down, D with the D bass. Down, down, E minor with the low E bass. And then the C. So that's pretty much your pattern through the entire song. So that's the basics of how you would play a song called Cruise, Florida Georgia Line. So good luck!